Hi, welcome to my tutorial today demonstrating how to crystallise edible flowers. There are many different varieties of edible flowers. These also include lavender, roses, hibiscus and sage. At the moment we're in the spring season. I've got violas growing in my garden and today I'm going to demonstrate how to crystallise violas. Edible flowers can be used in so many different ways. They look great in ice cubes served in your drink. They look very pretty in salads, but I think that the crystallised flowers look beautiful on a cake, particularly a naked cake. The things you need are some very fine sugar. I've got caster sugar, a whisk, a paintbrush, an egg, which you need to split the yolk from. We just need the egg white. You need a little drop of water and you, of course, need some edible flowers. We're just going to whisk the egg white now. You just want it to be nice and frothy. I'm just going to add a drop of water and then I'm going to whisk it a little more. Now we're ready to start crystallising the flowers. So it's really simple, just dip your paintbrush in the egg white and water solution and gently paint the petals of your flower. You give it a nice coating because we want the sugar to attach to all of the petal. You don't want too much because you don't want to make it really wet and to drag the petals down. So all the way around the front of the flower. And then what I'm going to do is just sprinkle the sugar over the top. I like to sprinkle rather than dip it in because what I don't want to do is have too much sugar on there and then not be able to see the pretty colours of the flowers. So just turning it over now and we're going to brush the back. I've kept the stems on at the moment because I find it easier to work with. Just give the back of the flower a nice coating of sugar. And then what I'm going to do is place it on my kitchen towel and leave it to dry. Just continue to repeat this process for all your edible flowers. So just give them a nice coating of the egg white, a sprinkle of sugar, and then just place it on the kitchen towel to dry. I'm just finishing off the last of my flowers. So as you can see, it's a really easy method to use. It looks very, very pretty on a cake and of course the flowers are edible. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. If you've enjoyed it, then please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to be kept up to date with further tutorials, then please subscribe to my channel.